The Muslims didn't really know who they were. They thought they were just another lot of Byzantines who were coming, as usual, to be a nuisance and, and fight on the borders. They had no idea that there was this extraordinary surge of religious fervor and fanaticism coming from Western Europe and that the aim of this group was Jerusalem. History is haunted by days of incomprehensible horror. Few are darker than July 15, 1099, when the Crusaders entered Jerusalem. The massacre must have been terrible. The, 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 the fear, the fleeing of the population, It must have been horrendous. From a letter to the Pope from the Crusaders. If you want to know what was done to the enemies we found in the city, know this. Our men rode in the blood of the Saracens up to the knees of their horses. They saw the holy city and they were in a state of exultation. And perhaps that's why, when they flooded through the um, gates of the city, that they were fired up with fanaticism and zeal, and that's why there was this terrible massacre in the name of Christendom. It was a blot on the name of Christendom in the Muslim view, and justifiably so. Even Christians weren't spared. At the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, dozens of worshippers from Eastern sects were massacred. To the Crusaders, they were nothing more than foreigners. The Christian chronicles record the carnage. The Saracens, who were still alive, dragged the dead ones out and made huge piles of them. Such a slaughter of pagans, no one has ever seen or heard of. The pyres they made were like pyramids. They shocked the Muslim world when they came. There are a number of extremely moving lamentations in poetry which date from that period. And the Arab poets of the time talk about the feelings of anguish and terror which the Crusaders, or the Franks as they're called in the Arab sources, caused the local people, the old women, the young girls, those who are cloistered away in their houses are trembling with fear. The whole imagery is, th is that of uh, the rape of their land and the um, terrible impurities caused by these barbarian infidels coming into their sacred space. We have mingled blood with flowing tears, and there is no room left in us for pity. To shed tears is man's worst weapon when the swords stir up the embers of war. When blood has been spilt, when sweet girls must hide their lovely faces in their hands for shame.